Hello, my name is Joni Berry, and I would like to welcome you to our video blog Bible study called What Happens When Women Pray. This is Lesson 1. Welcome. Let's begin with our opening prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you that you will make your power available to us. Help us to learn more about how we can experience that power in a more effective way in our own lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, prayer is our communication link between us and God. And we're always kind of working on our skills when we communicate with other people, with our kids, with our spouses. So why not hone our communication skills between us and God? Think about this for a moment. When you pray, do you feel like you are getting answers from God to your prayers? Or do you feel like you're dropping them in a barrel somewhere? Well, we're about to change all that. Open your Bibles to James 5, 16. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Now, let's look at the Bible verse in John 5, 17. In his defense, Jesus said to them, My Father is always at his work to this very day, and I am working too. What do these two verses tell you about God and the extent of his power that is promised to us? Now I have some questions to ask you. Have you ever felt someone praying for you? Have you ever prayed for someone and learned later they felt your prayers? Or is prayer usually a last resort? If yes, why? Now, I have one more question for you. If you were to pray aloud one sentence to God about something that is on your heart at this moment, what would it be? Let's close in prayer. Heavenly Father, teach me to plug into your power. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I want to leave you with a few suggestions for things for you to try before our class next week.